Hey guys, it's Anaconda Squeeze back with another Tricks and Traps video here. As you can see behind me from the description below, we are doing the automated chicken coop that I have in my Let's Play. Now, I want to point out first of all, this is a invention that I've done on my own here, using only my knowledge of Minecraft and just needed to fill a role. I needed these eggs collected, I didn't have time to wait every 5-10 to 10 minutes, I was busy doing things around my world. I did not get this from a video, this is 100% me. And like honestly, I don't have time to go pick it all up. So I let so Minecraft do minecart rather do all the work for me, and let it go round and around all day until I'm ready to pick up. And then I turn the switch off, and there are all my eggs. It's easy. I love it. It's super fantastic. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So first thing you want to do is I am using a five by ten pen here. So that's the size of pen I want to make. So you're gonna have to dig two down in a five by ten. Now it doesn't have to be a five by ten. You can do any size you want, bigger or smaller just means you're gonna need more or less resources here so once you're done your 5 by 10 you're gonna do two more rows off to the side now these two rows are gonna be where the entrance to the minecart is so once you're done that you're gonna go down here and here's what you're gonna need you're gonna need a bunch of dirt one minecart with a hopper a bunch of redstone blocks now it doesn't have to be eight it's just the ones I'm using right now I'll probably end up using a little more because I always like to be safe rather than sorry you're gonna need a bunch of powered rails. Now it doesn't matter how much, as long as you have one, actually it does rather. You need one more powered rail than you are gonna use red blocks. You're gonna need one lever and a bunch of minecart tracks. Rails? Yeah, rails. Jesus, I don't know why I talk so bad today. Now, what you're gonna do is you wanna leave three spaces from the end here. One, two, and then right in the middle there. Now it doesn't have to be two, it could just be one. I just, for my, the size of my pen, I'm using two here. You're gonna put a power rail right on top. Next to the power rail, you're gonna have a lever. That is gonna be your collection switch. When you wanna collect, you hit the switch, the minecart will stop. All right, then you're gonna go down the stairs with some minecart rails, if I could just learn how to say that word. Now, once you get to the bottom, the next block is going to be a redstone block with a power rail on it, followed by a rail. Next block over here, redstone block, and it's got yeah, same thing on either side because you don't want to have to worry about what side you push it on. I have mine symmetrical so that I, no matter which way I come to that rail, if I want to push it that way, if I want to push it this way, it's going to go down, it's going to come back, it's going to work 100% of the time. Now, starting from one side, you're going to want to go all the way up to the end only on one side this is where it does not get symmetrical once you get there you're going to bring it all the way across go down and just go back and forth like a snake that's all you want to do now you're going to have one empty row here don't worry this row is going to be covered it's by that fence it does not count anything that's covered by a fence is not going to be collected from that's why this egg right here escaped there's a slight, tiny, tiny chance that they'll lay on that little ledge. It doesn't happen to me that often. I would not worry about it. So you're going to connect those up there, and that is your continuous loop of track underneath your pen. Now, you want to have evenly spaced out a bunch of power rails. Now, here is where I differ from the most people. I am super paranoid that it's not going to work. I don't like when things don't work. I don't like having to worry about it. I would rather just spend the extra resources and use a bunch more redstone, use a bunch more power rails, then worry about all this. It's not worth the hassle, in my opinion. So I'm gonna make way too many of these rails here. Actually, we're gonna put another one here. I'm gonna put one more here, just because why the hell not. And then each, on, on, wow, and then on top of each of these, you're going to put a power rail. This is gonna be the power. This is what's gonna send it all the way around your minecart. Your minecart rails. Why can I why can I not say rails properly? Now, if this was in a lovely world full of grass and full of trees and not my bland diorite world, you would just connect dirt with a patch of grass right here. So we're gonna do that right like this. You wanna get your dirt going. And then you're gonna start. You're just going to fill in because as long as the mine, like the minecart only needs one space to move through and then it will pick up anything on the next block on top of it. That's all it needs. It doesn't need a ton of room, but it cannot pick up if there's more than one block in between. So we're going to do all of this here. 
and we are going to take our minecart, we're going to put it down, and we're going to flick the switch on, and we're going to boot it over, just to see if it does a loop. It should. There we go. And then we're going to flick it off just to make sure it does stop. Perfect. And now we're going to go in here. We're going to pick a nice fence. Let's do some oak just to be boring and plain. And let's get us some chickens here. Now this will work with like essentially anything. If you just want to have a place where you're killing, like if you want to kill cows in here and you don't have to worry about collecting steaks, by all means, spawn your cows in there, kill them, don't worry about it, let the minecart, you could have everything automated right now. Like do it below like your farm, do it below your carrots, just punch all the carrots and let it come back. I don't care, it's up to you, do whatever your imagination wants. We'll spawn our chickens in here. And let's go steal some of our eggs from this minecart just to make sure it's doing its job. Just sprinkle them on down here over the birds. All right, turn that one on. Give it a boot. I'll turn it off because I don't want to go that far. Perfect. And there you have it, guys. An easy, easy tutorial on how to make a very useful thing. I get full minecarts like, almost daily. Like, I get a lot. Depending on the chickens you have the more eggs you're going to have. It is such a handy trick. It's great for making large quantities of cakes, baking things, lots of food. Hope you find this thing useful, guys. I'll be making more and more videos. Keep staying tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Leave any comments on what you want to see here. See you guys fucking later. Bye.